Please welcome our next presenter, Maria Yuan, Executive Director of Issue Voter. You win. I said it wrong. I got to correct it. You win. Executive Director of Issue Voter. The election is 21 days away, <clears throat> but what will happen 22 days from now? I'm Maria Yuen, founder of Issue Voter, and I've managed a campaign in Iowa and seen how people spend so much time and money on elections. But we are left in the dark between elections when the real work that affects our lives gets done. Take a moment to think about an issue you care about. Is it the economy, the future of our planet, children's access to safety and education. Remember, policy affects every issue we care about, including all of the ones we're hearing about tonight. It has the power to make long-lasting, large-scale change. Yet, it's impossible to keep track. Congress will introduce over 20,000 bills in the next session that affect our lives. How many have you heard about? Do you have the time or information to understand them? And while every opinion sent to Congress is counted, chances are you don't know who's supposed to represent you, let alone how to contact them. And contacting Congress still involves snail mail and fax. Who still uses a fax machine? <laughs> That's why I created Issue Voter. We take what is daunting and nearly impossible and make it easy and actionable. All you have to do is tell us what issues you care about. We will send you an email before Congress votes on them, giving you plenty of time to send your opinion on the issues related to bills that will be voted on. We translate legislation into layman's terms, nonpartisan with points from both sides. And just one click sends your opinion directly to DC. Most importantly, your issue voter scorecard tracks how often your reps vote your way, helping you be empowered to hold them accountable and become a more informed voter at the next election. Before Issue Voter, this might take 20 hours of your own research. With Issue Voter, it takes 30 seconds. This, this matters to me because my dad's family fled communist China, where voting and democracy do not exist. Growing up in the US, I watched my parents vote in every single election, even the local school board. They know how precious that representation is. And today, people are using Issue Voter in all 50 states, all 435 congressional districts. We have sent over 4 million alerts and opinions. As a direct result, as a direct result of using Issue Voter, people are exposed to new viewpoints and motivated to vote in the first place at a time when America can feel divided by partisanship, Issue Voter provides a trustworthy, user-friendly way to be informed, be heard, and be involved in the decisions that affect all our daily lives. So what's next? We're raising 142,000, or I should say trying to raise 142,000 to take what we've accomplished at the federal level and replicate it across every single state. This is more important now than ever as more and more issues are being left to the states to decide. And states introduce over 120,000 bills every year. We'll start in Texas because it's home to over 29 million with many diverse opinions. And urgent because the Texas legislature meets in 2023 and only passes laws every other year. Our second goal is to add language translations to Issue Voter. Today, 67 million Americans are completely left out because English isn't their first language. Would you want your family to be left behind? We don't want anyone to be left out. So with your help, we will create the first ever multilingual issue resource of its kind and ensure that we are all represented at both the federal and state levels. Our earned revenue comes from sustainers and partners. Sustainers are people like you who use Issue Voter and support our work monthly. Partners are universities, nonprofits, and companies that get a customized version of Issue Voter that they use to engage and activate their communities. We need your help to create and build these new features that will help people across Texas and the country. 
Then we'll be able to partner with new organizations that care about state legislation or who serve non-native English speakers. So these new programs become self-sustaining at the start of year two. Judges, I challenge each of, each of you to make your most significant donation to Issue Voter and become the catalyst for a state-by-state -state movement across the U.S. starting in Texas. <laughs> companies, companies, if you support Issue Voter, that means you're supporting your customers and your employees' voices. And everyone, I invite you to head to issuevoter.org and take a minute to sign up right now. While you're at it, donate and make it monthly and get access to special features. And if you're here to support a nonprofit you already know, I encourage you to give to Issue Voter too, because policy affects their communities. And together, we can give everyone a voice in our democracy. You don't have to wait 21 days to vote. You can become an Issue Voter today and make your voice heard on the issues you care about. Thank you. I work in legal tech, so it's near and dear to my heart. How do you summarize all of the, I mean, it seems like it would take an army of people to so summarize So to get a little wonky, maybe. How do you deal with amendments? How does we that translate, work? We summarize bills that are um, scheduled for a floor vote, not in suspension of the rules. Bills that are getting, um, the, on congress.gov, there's top most, 10 most viewed bills every single week. And one of our donor benefits is that once a month, donors get to select a bill for us to summarize. So we don't, so on purpose, and I would say we would never attempt to summarize all um, 20,000 bills that Congress introduced because many of them won't have no chance of reaching the floor anyway. So we are trying to select the bills that do have the most chance of people's opinions actually um, making a difference. So those ones where um, they're not in suspension of the rules. Is the funding to support resources to help you do that or is it to support the tech? So I thereof. am a finance person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my major, I majored in finance, and I can't just give broad numbers, so I will tell you. Um, so the model, the way it works is it's supporting, um, and we already got, we already had a consulting firm give us, um, like, compare all these different language translation tools and suggest one that we should use and do the pricing for it. So the cost of the tech every year is going to be about $15,000 a year. Um, the, we also have in the budget um, the initial engineering setup for adding both state legislators, state bills, and the language translation layer on top of it. Um, and then some of the funding also goes to personnel. So specifically, uh, a few things. One is we have translators. Um, it's, it, we are using um, an AI tool, but we do want to, for Spanish, have a real human actually double check those. Um, and so part of the budget goes to that. And then we have um, part of it going to some legislative coverage. These are both not full-time people because at the federal level, there's an API that we can hook into and it's very easy to predict. At the state level, it's a little bit harder to predict what, con um, what the states are gonna vote on. So we do, need, we do want kind of a real human to help monitor that, but it doesn't need to be a full-time person. Um, and then also, we have a, um, we're building in the budget, which I'm very excited about, a partnerships person, because right now I am the partnerships person. Um, and we have dozens of partnerships at the federal level. So this is really exciting, because if we have the upfront um, donation to create the new features, we can partner with potential state partners. We've already had many conversations with organizations, and I'm already connected to organizations, that, where they're basically like, I mean, League of Women Voters is actually a great example. Um, and I know their executive director, and it was basically like, we had a conversation also with the League of Women Voters in Texas, and they, they said, well, we focus in our chapters on state legislation. So this is great, but you're not doing state. So that's just one example. Does the app uh, also help people register to vote, or is that... No, and that's ways? okay, because there's so many ways to do that. And so really what we are doing is we're helping people stay engaged between elections. We help people be motivated to vote to increase voter turnout. We help people make their voice heard, even if they're not a voter. So like, for example, we have a high school program where uh, we have a lesson plan that high school students can use Issue Voter because they are still constituents. And so they can start to get involved even at a younger age. Why did you decide to focus on Texas first? So the, some of the reasons, so for example, one is, one is frankly, we're here. Two is it's big. You could say, okay, but California also has a large population and is big, but California is less of a swing state than Texas, so you do have more um, opportunity to have an impact with the state legislature here because of that. Um, so that's kind of what I alluded to, like the diverse opinions. Um, also, I think timing was frankly a big part of it too because this point around you know, Texas, um, it's a great pilot for us because the legislative session is about to start next year. Thank you, Maria. Let's give Maria a round of applause. <laughs> 